Thank you for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Culture War segment tonight, the Colbert Report on Comedy Central. It's a very successful program that owes everything to me. Each night, host Stephen Colbert tries to convince Americans that he is me. This show is not about me. <laughs> no, this program is dedicated to you, the heroes. And who are the heroes? The people who watch this show. <laughs> Average, hard-working Americans. You're not the elites. You're not the country club crowd. Now, who does that remind you of? With us now is Stephen Colbert. Bill, thank you for having me on. This is an amazing honor. I want you to know that I spend so much time in the world that is spinning all the time that to be in the no-spin zone actually gives me vertigo. Okay. Are you ready for the interview? I'm ready for anything. Okay, my life ready. is an open book. All I've right. been waiting my whole life for this, sir. Okay. I'm here at the heart of O'Reilly Dumb right now. This is the Holy of Holies. Hit it. I'd love to be nailed. Colbert, that's a French name, is it not? It's a French name just to get the cultural elites on my side, mm -hmm. Bill. I'm okay. as Irish as you. I'm a Tormy. I'm an O'Neill. I'm a Tuck. I'm a Fee. I'm a Connolly. Because I, I could to. sit toe to toe at a potato table with anybody. I talked to your third grade teacher, Miss Crabtree. Mm -hmm. She said back then you were little Steve. Colbert in I South Carolina. Steve. I was Steve Colbert. But you, once you got here to Manhattan from mm -hmm. South Carolina, changed from little Steve Colbert to Stephen Colbert. Bill, you know you got to play the game that the media elites want you to do, okay? Some places you can draw the line, some places you can't. You and I have taken a lot of positions against the powers that be, and we've paid a heavy price. We have TV shows, product lines, and books, okay? It's That's tough. the price it's, we pay. It is tough being me. Is it tough being you? It's hard for me to be you. Is I'll it? tell you that much. It is. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you owe me an enormous amount of money? Well, if I were imitating you, I would, Bill. But there's a difference between imitation and emulation. Let me I tell see. you the difference, okay? Please. If you imitate someone, you owe them a royalty check. If you emulate them, you don't. There's a big difference. Check your lawyer. I will. I will. Now, what is it exactly that you do on your program? Well, what I do, Bill, is I catch the world in the headlights of my justice, okay? You're I just shine my light, right? okay? I shine my light no matter where that light takes me, okay? I'm not afraid of anything. I might be afraid of you, but other than that, I'm not afraid of a thing in the world, okay? Nothing. We on my show, and by we I mean me, yeah. usually. It's just you, uh, right? That's it. Okay. Turn the cameras on. I go, all right? Right. Nothing no scripted, writers, no... Nothing's no. prepared. I improvise the show every night just like you do, Bill. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in these prompters. No. You're making it's this stuff me. up as you go. It's all me. Now, who, who watches you? What's your audience? Do you do research? Do you know who... Well, Bill, that's one of the reasons I want to do my show, okay? I emulate you, yeah. and I want to bring your message of love and peace, which I understand that is your message. It is. I want to bring the message of love and peace to a younger audience, people in their 60s, people in their 50s, people who don't watch your show. Okay, so people in their 50s and 60s, too young for the factor, right. uh, are watching your show. Because we did a study of Jon Stewart's show. Yeah. That and, guy? Yeah, and it was stone slackers that were watching his show across Absolutely. the board. You have to be high to understand John Stewart. Now, how, how that guy is so he is pinker than an Indian River grapefruit. How does Stewart handle the fact that you are now more famous and successful than he is? I don't know. We don't talk. No, no, we don't talk at all. No. Does that drive him to smoke more substance? That now that you have overtaken, it might. Him? Yeah. It might. He was high most of the time I worked over there. I yeah. had to leave, Bill. Right. I didn't want to do my own show. I loved the Daily Show. I loved the people who worked there. And you, I had to get out from me. You emulating me were outraged by the conduct of Stewart and his minions. Were you Absolutely, because you know here's what I love about you, Bill. Okay, you give. Okay? I am a giver. You give and give. Right. I do my show half hour. This is why I could never even hope to be you. I do my show half hour a night, four nights a week. I haven't seen my kids in 18 months, and I am losing calcium in my bones. Doctors mm -hmm. say I should stop. I'm not going to. Okay? You go five nights a week, an hour an a night, hour. plus the radio factor, Bill. Right. What do you want? What gives you the strength? Jesus it, Christ it or is, Pat Robertson's protein I, shake? I, I'm, I'm, I'm motivated by the fact that you need material. That the more I'm on, the more successful you will be. Could I just get a feed See, from your show into my ear? I don't know. I, we have some kind of buzz thing. Now, look, I just want to tell the audience that mm -hmm. every left-wing critic in the country mm -hmm. loves you. There are no right-wing critics. But every left-wing critic read them. love you. Why? Is it because you're French? Is that why? That must be it, Bill. Uh, I'm using that to pull the wool over their eyes so they see that's the sugar that you must puts be doing my medicine something. into the system. You must be doing something. I'm doing you, Bill. That the, 
New, they hate me. The New York Times hates me, but they love you. It's the New York Times. Well, what's the Bill? difference? You hate George me. Bush. Of course they're going to hate you. <laughs> they're haters, Bill. They are. They're scum. Um, I have a sheet here. It says you dislike and you are afraid of bears and owls. Is that true? I'm afraid of bears. I think owls are a waste of time. Okay. You don't think about owls. But no. They're in the John Stewart category. They absolutely are. Right. You yeah. won't have anything to do with owls. No. But you do fear bears. I do fear bears. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other They're thing giant, is... giant, marauding, godless killing machines. <laughs> There's one right there. Right there. Okay. That's not a real bear, right? No. Okay. Thank now you. That, that's the editor of the New York Times. Okay. Now, your middle name is Tyrone. It is. How could that possibly happen? Because I'm Irish, Bill. Have no, you ever been to you ever French. been you ever, French. Have you ever been there to is a wrong, one Irish have you ever Irish been to, have you ever been to, Colbert Con Colbert of the Easter Rebellion of well, 1916 Now you're Colbert again I thought you had Who are you? researchers Are you Colbert or Colbert Bill I'm whoever you want me to be. All right, Colbert. I'm at the foot of the match. Yeah, I don't want you Make to be a French guy. Make me a spaniel guy. at thy gate, Bill. You want to be Irish, you can be Irish. I don't want you being a French guy. You know what, people? You know what I hate about people who criticize you? Who? They, they criticize what you say, but they never give you credit for how loud you say it. That's true. Mm -hmm. There are not many or people. Or how long you say it. As loud as I am. Mm -mm. I'm giving you the last word. Is that a wise thing to do? I, I give it to me. Yeah. What is the last word? I want to thank you for not asking me about that thing that we pre-agreed you wouldn't ask me about. Okay. The kid, the thing that happened. Don't you just that. Yeah, that thing. Okay. I, that's the kind of guy I am. A sensitive, kind guy. And I'll be on your program tonight, right? Watch it. 4.30 in the morning, that's when you guys are on? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that, okay. Yeah, that's Pacific time. All right. Looking forward to that. Stephen Colbert, right. everybody. Thank you, Bill. Owes his whole life to me, and I'm happy to give it up for him. Next, Bernie and Jan.